What's up guys, I've got another leak for you today and it's the HTC M7 which is said to be HTC's new upcoming flagship device. So let's check out some of these specs. We've seen the HTC Butterfly and the Droid DNA, they both come with a 1080p display and the M7 is no different. It comes with an amazingly high res screen 1080p like I just said which boasts 468 ppi which is as always when it comes to those PPIs, it's just a number, but it's absolutely off the charts. I don't know if it's really, if it's just overkill or we will actually see a difference. Probably not. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, it's a 4.7 inch display. It comes with a new technology on the display called Solux, which is apparently meant to be better contrast, better outside visibility, better viewing angles. You know, all those buzzwords, but we'll see if they actually come out to be true. I don't know. Um... The internals of this thing are quite exciting. We know the Nexus 4, the Droid DNA and all that stuff had the um, Snapdragon S4 Pro rated at 1.5 GHz. This M7 also has the S4 Pro but it's rated at 1.7 GHz. Now that is quite a jump and you know the 1.5 GHz in the Nexus 4 was already an absolute powerhouse. So at 1.7 it's going to be pretty much unmatched. I, I can't wait to see what Samsung unveil and what they kind of bring out. Obviously it comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM, that's obvious for like high-end smartphones nowadays. 32 gigabytes of internal storage. We don't know whether it has an SD card slot, but I wouldn't bet any money on it. The camera sensor is said to be a 13 megapixel shooter, which is quite nice, you know. I know it's not all about megapixels, but, you know, we're getting some nice resolution photos now. Um, you can see here it has a bright f2.0 aperture which is capable of super slow-mo which I really love on HTC. I really want that to be a stock Android feature because I think I just use it to mess around with but it's fun. And it's also said to be able to shoot HDR in video in 1080p which I also think, you know, it's quite exciting, it's quite cool. 2 megapixel front facer which is able to shoot in 1080p so you know, good for your Google Plus Hangouts and all that kind of crap that you use the front-facing camera for. LTE compatible, as you'd expect. Talking about the battery, it's got a 2,300 mAh battery. I'm not sure if that's big enough, to be honest. Um, you know, it's got a 1080p display to push and it's got a 1.7 GHz processor to push. That has, That is quite a lot to push on just that kind of average size battery for nowadays, but we'll see. Obviously it comes with the Android Jelly Bean, the latest and greatest from Android, and it's coupled with HTC Sense. HTC Sense 5 is kind of a love or hate thing. If you love it, you'll love it. If you hate it, you hate it. I'm like, I don't really love it that much. We don't know about price availability, but it's said to be released or announced in February at Mobile World Congress. Um, side note, apparently the Galaxy S4 is said to be released or announced at the same time. We won't see it released at the Mobile World Congress, it'll have its own event. But I think HTC is really trying to get this phone next to the S4 and see if it can compete. So Samsung, you know, Samsung have got to step it up. They need a new processor, a new GPU and a better screen. There's just no two ways about it if they want to keep up with HTC. So yeah, there's some exciting stuff coming in the uh, mobile world industry. Let's wait and see. See you guys later.